Hi viewers, now welcome and welcome back to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about uh, uh, vehicle to grid and uh, grid to vehicle operation of uh, operation with the three phase grid. And so this is a simulation model we developed for this vehicle to grid and grid to vehicle operation with the three phase grid. And this model consists of a EV battery, uh, DC to AC converter and then harmonic filter that is called LCL filter and then three phase grid and then this uh, DC DAC converter or inverter so will be controlled by means of a feed forward a decoupling control concept so for that we need to measure the uh, grid voltage so this grid voltage by using grid voltage we are going to uh, generate homeotic Omega 18 nothing but uh, the phase angle with respect to time and then we have to convert that grid voltage in ABC form into uh, DQ naught form so here we have to convert uh, VD and VQ by means of uh, power transformation and also so here we are going to measure the the inverter current so output of inverter current so that inverter current will be converted into ID IQ that means here also we are going to apply the power transformation okay just we are going to convert the current in the ABC form into current in the DQ naught form okay so after that so that uh, ID IQ going to be known as actual uh, direct axis and the quadrature axis current okay of this invert okay and then we need a reference curve because we are going to operate this model uh, in vehicle to grid and grid to vehicle concept okay so then uh, we need to provide reference current whether we are going to take the power from the uh, battery uh, to uh, grid or we are going to take the power from the grid to uh, battery okay for charging of battery or uh, discharging of battery so we need to create the uh, reference current okay that means reference current in the form of a direct axis so for that here we are going to use the power so this is a reference power so reference power we are providing for a vehicle to grid and grid to vehicle operation and then it going to be converted into id reference okay so this is a conversion formula we use to for converting that power into current id reference current okay so after that so here we are going to control only the id current that means we are going to control only the real power from uh, battery to grid and grid to uh, battery in vehicle to grid operation uh, grid to vehicle operation so the reference current for iq i am going to make here is zero and then the id iq reference going to be compared with the id iq actual so this id iq reference so this this two are the actual id iq of this inverter current and then it going to be process via pa controller okay so after that we are getting some control signal in the form of uh, d and q and then here we are applying that uh, feed forward decoupling concept okay so after applying this uh, feed forward decoupling concept so finally we will get the uh, the final control signal in the form of VD VQ and then it should be converted into ABC form so here we are going to apply inverse power transformation so that means we are, we are going to convert the VD VQ into ABC by using inverse power transformation so after that so here you can see that the output in the form of ABC controlled output in the form of ABC so that going to be process via uh, the PWM generator that PWM generator going to be generate the, the PWM pulse for this three phase inverter so it going to be control this three phase inverter in order to operate the system in vehicle to grid concept or uh, grid to vehicle concept based upon the, the reference power we are providing here right so next here we are measuring different kind of parameter so I am going to explain so first here we are going to measure uh, the inverter active and reactive power in this scope and here we are measuring the 
uh, active and reactive power of the grid okay and then here we are measuring the that mean uh, uh, grid voltage and inverter current that mean we are measuring the voltage of the grid and the current of the inverter in order to see the phase angle between that voltage and current whether both are in phase or both are uh, 180 degree out of phase because during vehicle to grid operation grid to vehicle operation so we can see the difference right so when this uh, battery will supplying the power to the grid means uh, the voltage and current should be in in phase when uh, the battery will be taken from power from the grid means the voltage and current should be in a 180 degree out of phase right so we need to see the see this that uh, phase angle difference between that voltage and current so we are measuring that detail and also here we are setting uh, initially uh, and also here we are measuring the the battery voltage current and the source of the battery okay so now i'm going to So this inverter, this is active and reactive power of the grid. Okay. So inverter and then active reactive power of the grid, and then so this is a phase voltage and current for seeing the phase angle difference between. Phase voltage and current, whether it is operated in vehicle to grid mode or a uh, grid to vehicle mode, right? So here you can see that we are providing the ref, uh, ref, reference power which is equal to five kilowatt, right? Uh, that means uh, we are providing a command, right? That means uh, it should be going to be operated as a vehicle to grid operation. Vehicle to grid means the vehicle battery going to supply the power to the grid. So we are going to see the uh, detail about that. Okay. So now I am going to simulate this model. So here you can see that uh, the current of the battery, right? So this is the current of the battery. So this is uh, voltage of the battery. The voltage of the battery here is maintained at uh, 1000 volt, and the current is going to be maintained at uh, 5 amps. So you can multiply is both, right? Uh, 1000 to 5 is around uh, 5000 watts. Okay. So you can see here, right? The current uh, that means uh, power of real power of this inverter is maintained at uh, 5000 watts right and also you can see that the power of grid is maintained at uh, 5000 watts okay and here you can see that the reactive power of the grid will be uh, 2000 so what's the meaning is uh, it going to supply uh, reactive power for that uh, harmonic filter okay so harmonic filter need that uh, some reactive power that reactive power is taken from the grid and also here you can see that the phase angle difference between the voltage this is voltage so this is current the yellow is the voltage and the blue is the current you can see that the phase angle difference which is equal to zero because here the vehicle battery is supplying power to the grid so that's why that phase angle difference is zero that both are in, in phase okay uh, and also you can see that uh, the soc of the battery is keep on decreasing that means a uh, battery now battery is in discharging mode okay discharging mode nothing but uh, vehicle to grid operation okay so this is operation of vehicle to grid and also you can see that uh, we are drawing sinusoidal uh, current from that uh, inverter okay so this is current not voltage so this is current amps so this is inverter current three phase inverter current so this is grid voltage okay so you can see that we are uh, drawing a sinusoidal current from this inverter okay so this is vehicle to grid operation so next i am going to explain the operation in a grid to vehicle so for that i am going to change the reference co command to minus 5 kilowatt right so now the system going to be that means grid right three phase grid going to be supply the 
power right to the battery for charging right so here i fix that power is minus 5 kilowatt so we can see the detail <coughs> so here you can see that so the power of inverter is negative that means you are taking power from the grid and also the grid power is negative that means grid supplying power to the uh, battery system and also here you can see that the battery current is negative it will be maintained at 5 amps and also you can see the SOC of the battery is keep on increasing so what's the meaning now the system operate as grid to vehicle mode right that means grid supplying the power to the EV battery to charging and also here you can see the voltage right voltage and current phase angle so both are 180 degree phase shift okay so both are having 180 degree phase shift so what's the meaning the system is operated at a grid to vehicle concept and next we have to see the, the current right current of the inverter three phase current of the inverter you can see that we are getting a uh, sine shutter current okay so system now operated at a grid to vehicle concept so next you have to test the mode right uh, that means uh, changing from uh, uh, vehicle to grid and the grid to vehicle suddenly right so what will be happen in the system so for that i am going to use step input okay so here i am going to use step input and then here i am going to connect this step input and step time i am going to fix one second initially we are operating the system at a vehicle to grid mode and after once again is moved to grid to vehicle mode okay so for that i am changing a reference power from 5 kilowatt to minus 5 kilowatts okay so next i am going to check the result <laughs> so here you can see that now system operated in a vehicle to grid mode so that mean vehicle battery is applying power to the grid okay so here you can see that power of uh, inverter is 5 kilowatt and the power of grid is uh, 5 kilowatt and then battery current is positive and then you can see the soc of the battery is is decreasing so now you can see that after once again uh, the command will be changed from 5 kilowatt to minus 5 kilowatt now system operated in a grid to vehicle mode so here you can see that the, the inverter power change from uh, plus 5000 to minus 5000 and then grid power change from uh, plus 5000 to minus 5000 and also you can see the battery current right battery current change from uh, 5 amps to minus 5 amps and also you can see that the soc of the battery right is now is increasing manner so that mean uh, the that mean there is a transfer from vehicle to grid to uh, vehicle to grid operation to grid to vehicle operation and also here you can see the phase angle right the phase angle change to 180 degree out of phase so next time you have to zoom little bit and then i am going to explain at one second so here you can see that the change in uh, the phase angle right so here the phase angle will be in phase after command changing right from uh, vehicle to grid operation to grid to vehicle operation it changed to 180 degree out of phase right so this is the uh, transition between uh, vehicle to grid to grid to vehicle operation same way we can test the model with the grid to vehicle to vehicle to grid concept okay so now initially grid will be supplying the power to the EV battery so it will be operated as a grid to vehicle concept so now you can see that the battery current is negative so that's uh, that's why it, uh, that mean it will it is operated at the uh, uh, grid to vehicle concept and also you can see the power of uh, inverter is negative power of grid is negative and then we have to check and, and then you can see that the phase <laughs> is out of phase right that no need is out of phase between voltage and current so now you can see that because of a change in transition that means reference com power comma change from minus 5 kilowatt to plus 5 kilowatt, uh, kilowatt that mean uh, g2 v2 uh, v2g concept so you can see that the power of uh, uh, inverter change from uh, minus 5000 to plus 5000 
the trip power change from minus 5000 to plus 5000 and also the battery current change from minus 5 amps to plus 5 amps that means you change the concept from uh, this is now this is operated to uh, grid to vehicle mode so this is operated to vehicle to grid mode and then here you can see that we are getting the in phase uh, voltage and current during vehicle to grid concept and also I am going to zoom this waveform at one second and then you have to check the phase angle difference so now you can see that so initially it uh, having 180 degree out of phase that means initially it operating at the grid to vehicle concept now we can see that after one second right is both are having in phase that means system will be operated to vehicle to grid concept okay so this is the operation of uh, vehicle to grid and uh, grid to vehicle in the uh, three phase grid thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye